Hello guys and welcome to episode 20 of my Total War Three Kingdoms 8 Princes playthrough playing as Surma Leong. Today uh, we are going to continue our way towards ultimate victory. We've got three princes down and we have four to go. Three of them are our vassals. The other one we need to kill, so Surma I, I'm sorry buddy. You were our friend for so long, but this episode we're probably going to be attacking him. But we have other stuff to do first, uh, which includes taking out Taiwan, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, the guy reinforcing is very weak right now. His army is battered by our vassal, so we're just going to knight battle this anyway. Actually, no, let's not knight battle it. We'll call him in and we'll just delegate it. We'll take the period victory. I don't really mind. Uh, I just want to make this guy a, a vassal. Uh, we'll release her. Oh, this is the guy we're at war with, is it? He is very good. Like, very, very good. I don't think he is the guy we're at war with, otherwise that'd be kind of weird, but... Yeah. His traits are very nice. I'll take him. <laughs> So he was the leader of that army, but Juru is the uh, guy who we're at war with. Okay, so we'll occupy it for now. And what we're then going to do is give it back to him. Or vassalize him and then give it maybe to Samadan. Samadan would benefit more from it. But I do want to make it so Juro can also get land. Like if I want to give him these cities. When we go to war with the Jin Empire, he's able to have them. And I'd need a a province that bordered them for him. Uh, anyway, we'll talk to him now. Uh, where are you, buddy? There you yes, are. Yes. Peace. Talk. Um, request cooperation. Oh wow, really? You won't cooperate? Maybe it's because he still has that army alive? Well anyway, we don't want this. I want to remain focused domain. I'm going to jump out, and we're going to hand it off to Sir Dan for now, then. Hmm. Odd. Oh, congratulations, Sir Mardan. You can have it. You should like us a lot for that. I don't need money or anything, so... You can just have it. <laughs> Well, that's nice. That completes another commandery for him. I mean, he's the vassal that's going to get the majority of Sir Mao Yong's lands if we ever vassalize or annex him. Uh, down here, I probably want to cross towards Hinai, but. I don't think I am. We're just going to sit here for now. And we'll go into encamp stance maybe next turn. Just so that it doesn't tell me that I have movement points left because it's really annoying when it does that. Right, how long till we can declare in more turns? That will bring in Songwei and Ruan Shen and also Samai into that war. Right, this guy needs to get into this territory so that I can switch out these guys. Need crossbowmen. Crossbowmen. Oh, they're already crossbowmen. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay, and then these can be swapped out for trebuchets. Okay, and then we'll move them back. Cool. 
and they can also be put into encamp starts at some point. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to run round here. And I'm going to probably deploy like down here initially and then if we need to go south and help out with the war at Summit High then I can do that. Because we're going to have these two sweeping through anyway and attacking Summit Eye, and we're going to have one coming down, or maybe two actually, coming down the sea and attacking from the other side. We're just waiting for them to be fully replenished. But yeah, they're not going to take too long to get down there at all. Zoom, zoom, down the coast they go. We're going to build up some more stuff, so... Let's go for the 15% tribute, thank you very much. Keep that built up. Still gonna push more food. Gotta be done. This also gives us increased noble support, which is nice. Especially for places that we've just taken over, they're gonna have neutral or worse public order, so if we can push that public order that'd be nice. I think I may as well just upgrade that for now, right? Okay. What's going on here? So my Chow. He's not very happy. Yeah, I was gonna sort of wait and hope that I could keep him on board, but I don't think I can. Because I'm not going to be able to give him a higher court position at any point. Unless I could replace one of these with him. But I'm pretty sure all of these are in position because they need it. Uh, Lu... Leon Shi. She's married to Sir Ma Yang. I might be able to take her out of there. I wonder if she'd hate me. I need to check her traits first. I think she'd be okay. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe I can just release her. <laughs> she is the wife of our... of our character again. But... Hmm. Maybe one kid's enough. <laughs> She's currently giving us the plus 50% income from peasantry. I mean, that remove from office will go down over time, won't it? So maybe we just promote her for now. I'm going to get this guy in there because he's more important. That way we can build a new army. How many armies do I have? 8 out of 10. Alright, let's uh, build another one down here. At uh, Jingling. Then we can put it on the water and just sail down. So, was it so much Chow? The guy I just put in there? Yeah, it was. Yeah, the reason he's so good is because he has the replenishment and reach already. So the campaign map movement range. Like that. Really nice. He's set up perfect. He doesn't need this. He doesn't need that. 
You can have that. And you can have that. There you go, buddy. He has some chi crossbowmen. Hmm. And some guardsmen. Heavy halberd infantry. Nice. Alright, well, we'll just swap out the rest then for cataphracts. We'll hold on to those other two. You can remember his heritage. And then we're going to recruit Serma Yu. Uh, he doesn't need that weapon. Uh, should I let him keep that one? Probably doesn't need that one either. Just give him that. Doesn't need that. Is there one that gives us... No, there isn't. I can keep that. And this... You may as well keep as well. Okay, so we're going to give that sword to Sir Ma Ju in the next turn. He needs to sort out his army. Nice, he's set up relatively well. We we'll need to need these two really. Although Flames of the Phoenix might be quite nice. Right, swap out for Imperial Guards. Just comparing them. I'm pretty sure Imperial Guards are just outright better, right? Yeah. So we'll just do like a full retinue of Imperial Guards, I think. Oops, wrong one. And then, uh, we just got that new guy as well. Uh, this guy, he can be our strategist. This is going to be a sick army. It's going to be r ridiculously good. Like some seriously good generals in there. Okay, time to move on to the next turn, I think. Undercover network. Uh, we'll try and pursue an administrative appointment again. Okay. Because if we can get that, then we can like convert an entire commandery over to us, I think, at some point. It would be really nice. Uh, do they have military access? I should remove it if they do. Ah, uh, let's have a look. I'm guessing they don't because we've been at war with them yes, recently. Yes. Talk. No, so there's no reason they should be on my land. My energetic. So my twan. Nice. Okay, all good. Over time, our diplomatic status should increase. It's pretty damn bad right now, though. Minus 22, untrustworthy. Like, that is just ridiculous. Annexation, minus 31 right now. That takes ages to go down as well. I'm not sure if it's relative to the size of the person you... Um... Relative to the size of the person you annex. If it is, that would make more sense, but yeah, I don't know. Either way, we're going to put them into a camp. Um, up here, I may as well just attack this lady. She's in March, so we can kill her. Night battle, delegate. Goodbye. Please be my vassal now. <laughs> 
Let's talk to him. Our patience Peace. Is Quest cooperation. See, I think because we're untrustworthy, nobody wants to be our vassal. So we're just going to have to go ahead and take their settlement and give it to Sir Madan. That'll be one less person to worry about anyway. I think it's still one more turn, right? Yep. I can't afford to wreck my reputation anymore. Alright, this guy. I will do one more turn over towards the water and then we'll jump on the water and go down the coast. Might have been better to walk to the coast from there, but it's okay. Go back into encamp there. This guy's zooming round. And here we need to recruit our new dude. Welcome to the team. Absolute dream team we got going on here. Oh, except from his traits are awful. How does he have really bad traits, but like, well, skills, I guess. He has bad skills. His traits are amazing. He's got Tranquil, Bright, um, Relentless isn't bad. And all of these are decent, but somehow he's only got four skills and they're all terrible. <laughs> oh well. Uh, does he have composure? No, does he? No. We don't have any flaming arrows or flaming shot on the trebuchets, which is pretty bad. Oh well. Just sort out this army with our normal composition. And we'll just leave them where they are for now for the mustering bonus. Alright, a couple of buildings complete. Let's just upgrade that one. Upgrade that. If I can upgrade these to the plus fifteen percent tribute in in diplomacy, like that's just going to be ridiculous. Currently, we're making sixteen k from tributaries. <laughs> it's only going to be more as we keep stacking those buildings. So my way is requesting that we both declare war on Songwei. Uh, not yet, mate. Your greed is repellent. Uh, actually, Sema Wei would be the best person to annex next, wouldn't he? Because he doesn't like us at all. Your hold over us must end. Oh. Okay. I was gonna give you a load of land. But never mind, I guess. <laughs> so much I was just like open rebellion against me. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. Alright, Mao Zhu has leveled up. Traits gained bright, nice for Ren Taiwan. Ancillary gained Stone Archer. Don't really care about the people of Merit anymore, although I will have a quick look. Actually, no, I don't need anyone, do I? No, because we've just built another army. We have 9 out of 10 armies. Um. Yeah, I think we're all good. That's the chap who leveled up. He's the administrator of Runan, so we'll give him intuition. Who else? He leveled up as well.
I think I'm just going to give an understanding. The main reason being that we're probably going to keep using her as an assignee. So having the industrial exploitation there is important. Okay. Turn to wipe out Juru. Night battle delegate. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. A local hero. Juru is destroyed. Okay, so what did we get? Bing Chuo. Temperamental, vain, and careless. Well, sorry, buddy. You may be a local hero, but you're not my hero. Goodbye. And we'll give this to Sema Dan. Welcome, friend. Give that to you. Goodwill I just realized if I give them all individually, it increases the Sanjun. diplomatic relations tons. I should do that more often. Like when I gave away all the lands down here previously, I should have done it like one by one. And then it makes them a lot more happy with us. Yeah, I should have done that, especially with this guy, with Gu Shen. Because uh, I could have just given him the settlements for free since I didn't need the money. Alright, well, that's fine. And um, we gained a red thoroughbred. Nice. Uh, my new dude can use that. Oh, we can give him the red stallion, actually. is fine. Uh, what about this guy? He can have that. The red thoroughbred. Um, this guy, he can have this. And then we need an administrator that doesn't have a follower. Uh, let's just go through here. Administrators would be the best ones to give them to. Su Ting. There you go. Boom. Alright, that will increase industry income. Wherever he is. Which is nice. Time to attack. Luan Shen. Now this fishing port's going to be pretty defended, isn't it? Yeah, so we should probably go elsewhere first. Uh, let's just go down the the water and attack at Poyang, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to make the attack onto this guy. Oh, it's one more turn, isn't it? I always forget about that. It says, like, a certain amount of turns, and it's always one extra turn. Alright, well, I guess we're not doing that. But, yeah, we'll definitely move this guy down. Anyway. We won't have him on land, but... Maybe I should put him on land. I don't care if I'm trespassing, do I? No. Alright. <clears throat> so we'll do that. Um... I mean, this guy isn't that far from where he needs to be. Like, if I just run him down here, it'd be fine to join in the war versus some I. Right, I guess I'll just give away the land as I take it. Who could take Changsha? I guess I could give it to Bian Bing. We take the settlement first. Yeah, and then we can trade the trade port afterwards. Maybe I get uh, some uh, bang to take the Ch Changsha trade port. Okay, 
Okay, this guy needs to get on the water. And then zoom down the coast with his buddy. And we need at some point to put Sema Chai in his place. But I need to keep him as a vassal because I need to give him some more of the Gen Empire lands at some point. If we do that. I might do like a another China domination, but with vassals instead. <laughs> That'd be pretty ridiculous. See how long it takes in this uh, as compared to in the uh, the main campaign. Right here we were going to build an inn, and here we have the extra 50% income from commerce. I should probably just upgrade this first, the Grand Tea House. Upgrade that. Nice. We have 83 food, so I can upgrade all of my settlements, no problem. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Our Imperial Orders is complete. With his authority established, the Warlord's decree echo across the vastness of the realm. As power and legitimacy grow, loyalty grows with it. Warriors and citizens work harder and more efficiently for a leader they respect. Uh, it's by returning. A new dynasty. Domination or peace. There is always a choice that must be made if one is to achieve greatness. Before you lie to options... Foster a network of allies and build a new unified future, or exercise your will and bend it, bend them to it. We'll make peace again. And what's this? Do not be at war with any factions. Peacemaker plus five diplomatic relations with all factions. That's actually really nice. That will almost complete our spiritual alignment. Again, new weapon. Very nice. Let's see what we got. Warblade. Okay, cool. We can give that to Sema Yu. He needs a replacement weapon. Okay. Um, so the only person we're at war with right now is Sema Chai, isn't it? So we could probably peace out with him for now. I don't actually mind. Yes, yes. Talk. Sure. There we go. That should complete our mission. Yep. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> so now we have like the plus 25 diplomatic relations with all factions. Is that permanent? This one isn't, but this one looks like it's permanent. That's going to help us loads with our vassals. It's just a shame that we wrecked our reliability rating so much. Any reform choice pending? I guess we'll just go down here towards harmonious living. I do need to give the available administrator position out to someone. Uh, maybe Sir Mayu. It's not a bad candidate, actually. Just traits. Uh, I could also give it to Princess Pei, his wife. He's not bad. Uh, Sema Yu, does he have the right traits for this? Not really. He doesn't give any bonuses to 
the settlements, except from the miners' construction cost. Whereas his wife probably would. He's disciplinarian, wise, and friendly. Yeah, I think we could give her that. It's fine. I mean, I only need this one, and then she's perfect as a as an administrator anyway. Uh, we'll remove these from her. She doesn't need those. Just needs one with expertise. Uh, she can <clears throat> take that off. Just need as much expertise as possible. And then we've got to choose. She's got commerce, right? That's our main bonus. So we need to put her somewhere that makes a lot of commerce income that hasn't already got an administrator. So these all do, I believe. Uh, this is making a relatively good amount for commerce. I didn't realize that corruption had skyrocketed so much. I think this is the best one, bar 1.4k from commerce. We'll put it there. Okay, good. Push that up. Yeah, corruption's really high across the board. Maybe I should have focused more on making the corruption buildings. Or minus corruption buildings. Oh well. Uh, let's upgrade that. This one creates food, so we need those two. Uh, we can keep the craftsman's workshop, the guest house, that's all good, yeah. That's actually set up quite well. We're just constantly building at the moment, and considering we just completed that reform, things are building a lot quicker than they were. Our air has leveled up. Uh, nature's ally is pretty nice, but the intensity is also very good. Then we're going to get intensity because of the calf. And at some point in the reforms, I will want to upgrade those horsemen. Those are jade dragons. What are these? Heavy cataphracts? Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't realize there was heavy cataphracts. Are those just normal cataphracts then that we have already? They are. Oh, okay. Cool. But yeah, we want the upgraded horsemen. Is there upgraded horsemen? Nope. I guess the Jade Dragons, you can purchase them anyway, I think. Yeah, I think you can have Jade Dragons anyway, even if you don't, like, even if you're not a Vanguard, for example. So, we can use those once we unlock them. Uh, for now, uh, that's all good up north. Um, uh, uh, Jew here has helped out Serma Dan. And now, I guess we move toward this land. Oh, we'd have to go all the way around. Interesting. Uh, maybe best to come down towards Hidong then. Or the Shangdang small city, maybe. Fight. 
think we're actually going to go down towards the farmland. One thing I am going to do here, um, at some point we will annex um, Semawe. We'll divvy his land between our vassals here. And then we can attack the Jin Empire and just start splitting up more of this land to different vassals. Like I can give like Jin Cheng over here for example to uh, Zhu Yan. And then I can give like An Ding to Zhang Zhangli. And we'll give all of this like stuff up here to them. Then we can give Puyang Wanji Chang An and the Luoyang trade port. And that would sort out all of that stuff. Okay. Can we attack this turn? We can. Alright, we're going to delegate that. Easy peasy. Did we end up going to war with their allies? No, we didn't. So I'm going to talk to him anyway. Hey, my dude. I already took your land. So, do you want to be my friend? Our patience is thin. They do not. Yeah, we're gonna have to take something else from them. I'll probably take the Poyang small city. Right, at the same time, we do want to take Lu Jing. So we're gonna do that. Oh, we can't do that one yet. Really? Declaring war on someone you have a trade agreement with. Ah, uh, do we have a trade agreement with them? Not you again. We do. We have misjudged you. But I don't think we can attack them for another five turns. Okay, in camp. <laughs> you can wait. I got a guard. Nice. Give that to my new guy. Max out that satisfaction. The other good thing about my new guy, my my new vanguard, is that he's going to be loyal to us. He's definitely not a spy since we captured him in battle. That's one good thing about capturing people in battle. That you know they're not a spy. Alright, so this is good actually, because we managed to declare war on Ruan Shen, and I'm, I assume we're going to be able to declare war on Songwei without pulling in Sema Ai. Uh, so we can prepare to attack Sema Ai and then just smash through him nice and quick. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Let us talk trade. So my Yong is offering to assist us against Ruan Shen. Oh, that's one thing I should do actually. Is um A rewarding meeting. Invite everybody to <laughs> pile on in on these people. Because that increases our relations with everybody who hates them. So actually the best way to do it would be to Click on the button that calls all vassals, but then do it individually based on who wants to, right? Boundless energy. Some say this administrator is born of the wind. They never tire and have such boundless energy that they even that they appear to be in several places at once. Their daily inspections cover all ground within a, the settlement, causing others to mark time by their visits. That's good. Nice one, Suting. Finally got his uh, administrator position and he's enjoying it, obviously. Uh, unfortunately, we can't hit that in one turn. Oh, we can hit this army, though. Alright. Well, this is going to pull out the garrison from the city. 
But if we night battle it, we will wreck them. Thing is, I might want to pull out the garrison. That will make it much easier to take. Also, it might make Guru and Shen want peace. There's that as well. But I don't know if the garrison will affect that. So defeating the army would be better. I think we're just going to delegate a night battle for now. And then see if we can get peace. Oh, we're actually in range to attack the city straight after. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll level them up. Uh, we have all of these, which is good. Hamstring ability is really nice to have. Trust. 10 morale when attacking is nice. Further ramparts, okay, but we don't need it. Patience is quite nice as well. The way that this is set out at the bottom here is really nice. I think we're going to go for the mobility, the plus morale when attacking. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Right, let's see if we can get peace before we take this. If not, we'll take it and then ask. Yes, yes. Talk. Request cooperation. Trade ter ter territory. <laughs> uh, give him the copper mine. Okay, that's still going to be too much. Yeah, we'll take the city and we'll give him back to him afterwards. Alright. So we'll do that. Uh, we could actually night battle this as well. <laughs> actually have to play it out. That's the case. Yeah, we don't take that many casualties. And we'll be pieced with them next turn anyway. Or in the same turn. So yeah, we can delegate this. Apologies if you guys wanted to see a battle, but... Yeah, there's really just no point. It's just going to be a simple, simple battle. And jump out of this and then do the peace deal. Our patience is thin. So we're just giving back poor Young. Ah, uh, for cooperation. Uh, he's going to like that a lot, and so is most people. Uh, although, uh, one thing I might do first <laughs> is talk to him and call in my vassals to the war first. Our patience is thin. All your vassals to arms. Yeah, literally everybody would like this. You mistake gentleness for weakness. And then what we can do, having done that, is then peace out the same turn. Yep. Okay. Do we have to? Oh shit. Okay. The thing's different now. Interesting. They because they hate us that little bit more. They don't want peace as easy. Anyway, we'll give him back his stuff. And uh, we can just pay for the rest. Um, yeah, so he will control all of Poyang, which is good. 
Um, let's see. We can make a payment of like 5,000. Oh, is that all he needs? Really? Okay. A reasonable offer. Mediate peace between them and the Jin Empire. Okay. Good. And he left the alliance. So allies don't automatically call in each other when they get attacked. That's really interesting. Maybe the other two just didn't want to attack me so they didn't join when he asked. Maybe. Do they still stay in the alliance? It's odd, but that's probably how it works. So that is another vassal that we can use against the Jin Empire if needs be. In a few turns we can take out Songwei. Uh, from here, I probably want to get into position to attack some Chai maybe again. How many turns until I can attack him I wonder? Like five turns, right? I need to vassalize him. So yeah, we'll head in that direction. We'll attack Somachai. We'll vassalize him. We'll attack Songwei, vassalize them. Then we need to wipe out Samai. Uh, which will be nice because we've got a lot of dudes nearby that could probably use those settlements. So we could give Fang Guan Kang Wu. Uh, then we can give maybe like Mao Ren uh, Ling Ling. Actually, maybe best to give uh, Fang Guan Ling Ling as well. Maybe we give Mao Ren Cheng Sha. Although I think Bian Bing would be better off having Cheng Sha. Otherwise, he'll hate us a lot. And we don't want that. Um, and we can give Hipu to Gu Shen and also Gao Liang. What about Nan Hai? I mean, Fang Guan only owns the lumber yard, so we'll give Ling Ling probably to Mao Den. Just so that they're more even, so that if I ever have to go war with them, that I don't have one that's like massive and. Okay, well, anyway, guys, unfortunately, it's been my time. In the next episode, we'll continue our advance. I'm really enjoying, like, getting this ultimate victory. I think it's, like, so much better than it was maybe, like, 20 turns ago. And this campaign has, like, really come into its own in the late game. Like, all these strategic decisions that I have to make around my vassals is just really cool. I'm really enjoying it. And hopefully you guys are too. But that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.